Bloomberg Quint hazmat suits for air travel are here. I am, I am really glad. I well, you know, um, technology trumping tyranny, and I said this months ago when I first figured this out and was like, wait a second. You want to talk about flattening the curve of tyranny? There is kind of a limit on this. How bad can things get? Because once we all have the virus completely under control one way or another, can they really tell us what to do using the virus as the excuse? And what if that mechanism of control, and you know, maybe it's a little silly, maybe this is what it's going to take for us for to do for, oh government okay government okay fine government you want to use the virus as the excuse to ruin our lives look we made hazmat suit we're all virus proof it's like putting up a virus free zone sign on your body that actually works better than a gun free zone sign right so like it, if, if everybody has this and i my prediction months ago was that uh we would have pretty soon here, you know, by the end of the year, if this kept accelerating and getting worse, we would have the physical mechanism to shut down all of this nonsense. I, and I, I was like, well, maybe it's a Chinese manufacturing racket. Like, hey, guess what? <laughs> you can imagine like you're a Chinese manufacturing inspiring. <laughs> all right, we're going to, we're going to trick all the Americans into buying Cheaply made hazmat suits from China. All right, all right. So here's how we're gonna we're gonna the, you see you see how this unfolds, and now we're doing it. Made in America hazmat suits. I don't know. Come on, CJ. That's a great picture of this thing, and 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 you do have to kind of visualize this to to get the full the, the full picture because it's it's like a. You know, I, I said they were gonna they were gonna bully us into hazmat suit world or, or bubble boy world, where if if you're in public, if you're in, in in the realm that government claims authority over, and they do that in private too. Don't get me wrong, but if if you if you are in that, you know, space, they they can control you and say no, you have to, you have to make sure that you respond to these. You know, viral limitations. Well, 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 sorry, now they're irrelevant. We all have hazmat suits. So here we go. After the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention officially recommended widespread use of face masks to help spread the, to help slow the spread of the COVID 19 coronavirus, the minimalist medical mask quickly got reimagined as a fashion accessory. <clears throat> then model Naomi Campbell, famous, a famous germaphobe, and musician Erica Badu. Stepped it up a notch, sporting custom hazmat suits for stylish social distancing. Now, with the novel coronavirus pandemic showing no sign of slowing, travelers are taking note. Gezin Alcasey says, Look, hazmats are just the thing to make flying feel safe again. In mid April, the co founder of VYZR Technologies, a Toronto based company specializing in personal protective gear, launched a new product called the BioVisor. I assume that's how you pronounce it. B Bio, V-Y-Z-R in caps. Via crowdfunding site Indiegogo, the $250 futuristic looking outer layer resembles the top half of an astronaut's uniform with anti-fogging windows and a built-in hospital grade air purifying device. Paranoid flyers were quick to scoop it up, pre-ordering about 50 thousand suits and raising four hundred thousand dollars for the nascent company the first batch is set to be delivered by the end of july not going to take that long so i i'm really uh you know i'm i'm really encouraged i guess you could say by this that look the technology trumping tyranny is happening faster than i anticipated although what I was talking about was was a little bit more than this in the sense that it would be a full body suit. And I think we'll get there. I mean, we already have those. You know, you put on a, the cheap scrub 
overlayer, whatever, uh, and the, the little booty things that go over your shoes, you put on gloves. Man, that's going to be uncomfortable to be walking around in for a full day. But if that's what you got to do to be out in public, then you, you, people are going to do it. It's, it's, if it's that or unemployment, you're going to do it. The other thing that, that I see is the price has to come way down. And I anticipate, as with all things uh, of this nature, the, and, and man, the demand is there. Wow, is the demand there. $250. We have 50000 Pre-ordered suits out of this. $400,000 total raised. That's incredible. So, yeah, there's and uh, to get to the point that I'm talking about, you're, this is going to have to be available at a gas station for about 20 bucks for a full suit. And I, I, if I may make this bold prediction, yeah, I think by the end of the year, if if this keeps up, if we are still at where we are today with lockdowns, shutdowns uh, at the end of the year, more or less. If it's this or worse, then you're going to be able to go into a gas station for twenty dollars, buy a version of this that goes over your head and has, you know, the uh, pant and and top shirt, sure, long sleeve uh, top and and gloves together. I mean, what is what does that cost? They get that down to, to you know less than a dollar or two to make that, and I don't know a few dollars to actually make, and it won't be as it won't be as comfortable as this. Uh, as as the, the one we're covering in this story, the BioVisor, this seems like uh, maybe a bit of a luxury version. It's got, you know, the shoulder harness thing that kind of braces the whole thing up so that you have this whole canopy over your head. And, and your head can, your, your head swivels naturally inside of this, right? Uh, as opposed to it being kind of like a bubbled mask around your head. Maybe, it, you know, it's got a neck collar, you know, it's, it's going to be less comfortable, but uh, this is uh, your know, technology is going to develop a lot more uh, as as we see the demand grow. If there is uh, the, the continued threat coming from government and 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 and, uh, and potentially virus the virus or viruses in the future that are used as more excuses to scare people. But this is something that is you want to talk about the new normal. There are people who have been scared into wearing masks while they're driving in their cars by themselves. You know, they're, but they, to, the, to respond to that now embedded social fear, we have a new technology and we have a new demand for a certain standard of hygiene. Not a bad thing, right? And in terms of overcoming the tyranny, that's what's really important here taking away government's excuse. We can handle this without you better than with you, government. So the next section of the story, who's buying and who's not? So far, customers have included doctors, dentists, hairstylists, and long-haul travelers, though al Qaisi has seen a recent surge in interest from teachers and school administrators looking for a way to keep staff safe as schools look to reopen. You go, oh, really? Guess what? We just took away the excuse for shutting down schools. Teachers, are, children are vulnerable. Children are not vulnerable to this. You want to, you're, they're going to spread it through, uh, through teachers. Teachers are vulnerable. Well, hey, guess what? You want to show up and teach? So, well, you know, and and, and there are going to be teachers complaining about this. And if I was a teacher, I'd be like, really? I gotta wear, I gotta wear a bubble boy helmet in order to go to work and teach at a government school, really? And to that, I would say, well, because you failed to teach enough of your students critical thinking and logic and reason, they've fallen for the coronaphobia hype. And yeah, sorry, now you do. But it, to the extent that there may be a real threat from, from this virus or a future virus, we don't have to debate it anymore. Any debate that goes, well, you, you want to put on a hazmat suit? We got it. We got, we got a comfortable little bubble boy mask for you. Helmet thing you want. And, and right now, $250, you can't make that 
sort of blanket statement. But if you're if you're an employee, uh, you know, you, uh, of all the costs that government imposes on a business for hiring one person, getting them a two hundred fifty dollar helmet thing that they got to wear at work, probably among the least of your concern. The design isn't perfect based on feedback and insights from the crowdfunding community. Visor Technologies has already made tweaks that will appear in its already sold out second batch of shipments. These include a rear pocket for a, a hydration pack, a slit for a stethoscope, an additional fan for added circulation, and a replaceable power bank. The company also plans to not launch new color patterns and additional sizes. So yeah, rear uh, pocket for a hydration pack. I assume that's like a camelback, you know, like we saw the military popularize in Iraq and Afghanistan. And the uh, slit for a, I mean, the added fan, all, all of this, uh, this is this is really cool. You know, and if I may, if I may jump ahead in the technology here for a second, where is this going? And I, I never made this connection before just now. Because, you know, we, we look at Star Trek, right? At some point, we're all going to just decide this is what we're all wearing from now on. You get a different color based on your rank, perhaps. It'd be red or blue or yellow, but we're all wearing the same jumpsuit. Now, I don't think that's where it's going stylistically, but techno technologically, where are we going with this? We've heard of predictions from people like Ray Kurzweil and, and, and other futurists that you're eventually going to have a chip somewhere implanted in your skin to dispense medicine. And you go, wait a second, that's crazy, far-fetched. You put a little little load of medicine in there and it, it time releases it and it can, it can, you can use it to do drugs or respond to medical emergencies. And it's like, we kind of already have that. There's a birth control mechanism that women get implanted and the way they do it is in the armpit. And it slow releases hormones. Well, this is that at the next level, computer control. Well, what if you have that integrated into a whole body suit, right? And your body suit, I mean, you talk about the style of it. First of all, you can change colors. You can change patterns. I mean, you do it by pushing a button on your, maybe on your phone that controls your suit. And maybe that suit is, is something that has like a, a film over your face. It's like this bubble helmet, but you can't even notice it. It's, it's not even visible, right? But it, it does climate control for your whole body. It does air control. It, it has uh, you know, the air conditioning and, and filtration system. And uh, maybe it, it, it's, it's giving you water too, right? Like you don't need a camelback to carry around you know, a, a gallon of water with you every day if you have a little device attached to your head or your face that sucks water out of the air and just puts it right into your mouth. And maybe it's doing that with food eventually. I never thought that a, a virus would be the motivator, the, the trigger, if you will, for the demand to create all of this technology that essentially puts us all in some kind of Iron Man world, except that it's not clunky and awkward and uncomfortable to wear. It's something that you just, that it's just how you live. It's like, this is what clothes do now. This is what we expect from our clothing. And this first clumsy example, I suppose, with today's technology only seems clumsy when we look to the movies and Hollywood for examples of where this could be going. But this is a, a big leap and a big exciting one. The celebrity buy-in of stylish protective suits has others thinking that this hazmat suit is more than a fashion fad. Meredith Del Boyo Zach, a mother of two young children who works as a New York-based buyer for Erica Wilson, a fashion boutique in Nantucket, Massachusetts, says she's she'd invest in a biovisor. Quote, we're in a moment where supermodels are traveling in full hazmat suits. So function and safety are, thankfully, the focus over all else, aesthetics included. That said, fashion will embrace this as it did with masks. And we will likely start to see versions of this type of gear evolve 
from designers at every level. I personally would look forward to a version that would be easy to wear when wrangling children on airplanes and through airports. There is no new normal. There is no return to the old normal. We have crossed so many thresholds as a species in the last four to five months. It's better described as an acceleration of so much of the human experience. We might get back to normal in terms of getting over the government shutdowns, the economic upheaval, the fear of this particular virus but there was so much of the human experience already starting to accelerate that this was just the catalyst for the takeoff and fashion and design to say the least will never be the same again